Hey guys, what is up? I am back, and today I'm bringing brand new Call of Duty Ghost DLC information. Now, um, for this video, I'm going to be starting off with the Maverick um, Assault Rifle, and I'm going to be showing you what I use on the class, you know, overall what situations you're going to get into on the new DLC maps, and what's the optimal, you know, class setup for you guys to benefit with this gun. Now, um, let's start out, obviously, the Assault Rifle is the Maverick, and um, they call it in the game a hyper-velocity rounds provide devastating damage at close range, moderate stability, and fire rate. Now, after using it, um, what I've found so far is that the uh, damage up close is unbelievable. It's a two-shot headshot um, within, you know, 30 yards, I don't know, w within a decent distance, um, moderate to close distance, and um, it's a three-shot kill in close range, you know, right up next to them, or, you know, probably, I don't know, 20 feet away, I don't know exactly how to gauge it, but you guys know, you know, a, a medium distance to a small distance is going to be a three-shot kill, but then going out to a long distance, it drops off to around a five, and lucky for you guys, most of the new maps are close quarters maps, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so what I use for attachments on this gun, I use a silencer and a grip. Now, the reason I use a grip is because the accuracy on this gun is pretty bad. Um, the For me at least, you know, most guns go up and down recoil-wise. But this gun is a left and right all over the place, and I don't really love the way it recoils. So I definitely put on the grip. The grip helps me out a ton to get those kills, especially the fact that I drop shot sometimes. Um, it helps me stay stable on the way down and keeping, you know, in line with the target and not having the gun wobble back and forth. Now, I am a silencer person when I play. I like to be silent. I don't like people to know exactly where I am. But for the second one, either use the silencer, which I use, or use FMJ attachment. Now, you don't need extended mags on this gun, guys. It does have 30 rounds, and the fire rate is pretty low. So I found that at least killing people, I would be able to kill three or four people without even ever reloading. And that's pretty much different for every other assault rifle in the game, at least for me. So extended mags, I don't think is necessary at all for this class. Um, but I either put on silencer, which I do like, and I also have a class with FMJ. Um, or full, I don't know what it's called. It's like the deep impact, I think it's called, I don't know, um, but the, the, you know, thing that makes the gun have higher damage. Now, um, for secondary, I do not use a secondary on this gun, it has tons of ammo and you can run pretty fast with it, so that's the only reason I would ever need a secondary, so I don't use a secondary, and for lethal and tactical, um, you can put on for lethal a Semtex if you'd like, I don't really use tactical or lethal grenades, I don't, I don't see the need at least, like, they don't get me more kills on my gun, so, um, I save all those up and use, um, use those points in perk, perk form, I guess we'll call it. Now, for perks, guys, what I use is, um, the first one is I use Ready Up because this gun does have um, a slow fire rate. It's only 600 something, six, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but um, it's 600 rounds per minute, I think, and that is lower than most other assault rifles, so I do want to use Ready Up so that my, ready, my weapon can be ready faster so I can get those shots off as fast as possible. And then I use Sleight of Hand, faster reloading, obviously, you know, this is going to be a fast class for me, a running around class, so I definitely want Sleight of Hand on there as well as agility. Now agility and marathon can kind of be switched out interchangeably. Um, agility at least for the small maps because you're not going to need to be like running all the time. So that's why I use agility. But then say we go into a map like Bayview, which is a little bit bigger, tiny little bit bigger than, um, you know, Scrapyard and the other ones. I forget what they're. But, um, you know, you might want to toss on a marathon. Now also you have dead silence. I love dead silence. It's such a pro perk and it is such a crime that they put it on like in a, a default class. I don't know. It's it's such a pro perk. I use it all the time and I sound tour with um, with my uh, X12s, which are not, you know, not a high quality headset, guys. So even if you have like earbuds you're plugging into a monitor, it's not like, it's fine. As long as you, you put on dead silence or um, amplify, I try and use dead silence so I don't get confused because my hearing's not that great. I don't know. It's I have hard directional hearing, so that's why I use dead silence. And um, then down to focus, this gun, guys, does have a lot of recoil, as I said, and focus description does say reduce weapon sway when aiming down sights and reduce flinch when hit. Overall, both those things are imperative to winning gunfights, one-on-one -on -one gunfights, um, things like search and destroy, TDM, uh, kill confirm, stuff like that that isn't objective-based. You're going to be getting in a lot of one-on-one -on -one gunfights, so definitely suggest um, hitting up focus on that class, as well as the last one, blast shield. Now guys, there's tons of IEDs, they are potent in this game, and it is is bad. I hate IEDs, they're my least favorite thing in the whole game, and that's why I use Blast Shield. I get so mad when I die from explosives, and so far in the DLC, a lot of people have been using explosives, and I don't know why, I don't know if they like added something I don't know about, <laughs> I just, so many people like blowing me up for some reason. So, I tossed on Blast Shield, and it's pretty awesome, um, you know, you don't die from an IED usually, as long as you're, as long as you're not damaged, which I'm usually not. So, um, and then for my strike package. 
I use Specialist Strike Package. Um, my top three are, I start off with Scavenger and then I go to um, Stalker, which the reason I do Scavenger is because this gun does have 90 bullets plus 45 in the, um, or 30 in the round, um, which is, you know, a pretty good amount. But once I get on those seven, eight, nine streaks, I want Scavenger there. I want to have replenished ammo. And um, so what I do is Scavenger first, then Stalker, and then Marathon because I do want to run faster. I want, I don't know, I want that added bonus. And then I add on um, Amplify. Blind Eye, Takedown, Recon, Resilience, and Strong Arm. Those don't really matter. I just add them on because I don't have the other ones unlocked. But, you know, it's just I want my Strike Package to be up. I want This is going to be my, you know, Chem class. I've been going for Chem. So, guys, this is my class setup ideas, at least for you. This gun is a very good gun. I would definitely suggest it um, on, you know, medium range to small maps because the long range maps aren't going to do that well with this gun. Um, it does have, you know, trouble. And the last thing I want to add is the hip fire on this gun is pretty bad. So you're going to want to be aiming down sight, ready to go. Um, oh, wait, I forgot. There's one more thing. The iron sights are unbelievable. I, I don't know how I could not mention this, but the iron sights are my favorite iron sights in the whole game. Um, they're absolutely awesome. Infinity War did a great job with them. Like, the iron sights themselves look so cool, guys. I love them. Um, so definitely, you know, you don't need an optical sight at all. I wish I could have put insert this back into the uh the attachments part of the video but whatever you know it is what it is so thanks guys for watching please leave a like on the video and follow me on twitter if you have any questions go ahead and tweet at me i'll answer them for you you know try and be helpful as possible <laughs> so um thanks guys please leave a like and i'll see you guys later